Okay, we are gathered here at um, Mr. Kunze's and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kunze's place, uh, where we are just discussing about um, English cucumber. We've seen how the cucumbers are performing, and uh, so we've got um, agronomists from different um, uh, stables. Uh, we've got Four Seasons Nursery. Uh, we've got myself. Uh, we've got Windmill, uh, Total Farm, Farm, uh, Total Farm Solutions, um, Munya from National Tested Seeds. We also have Mr. Kunze himself and uh, patients from um, Total Farm Solutions. So, um, as we look at this crop, uh, Munya, you are the you are the seed guy. Um, just just explain to us about the the, the variety that that we are seeing here and and its behaviour. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mugabe. Hello, farmers. Hope I find you. We have Boreo here. It's one of our varieties. It's uh, a very good uh, performing cucumber. It's highly productive. As you can see, it's thin and long in size. The fruit size uh, ranges from 34 to 38 uh, centimeters in length. In general, uh, Boreo has good disease resistance packages, uh, which, which include uh, resistance against powdery and downy mildew. So, Boreo is, is one of the uh, most prevalent varieties in, 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 in the field. It has been there for six years now. It has been there for six years and it's still going strong. Uh, we want to thank Mr. Kunze and Total Farm Solution for believe, believing in our variety that we have here. Thank you so much, Munya. And then in terms of uh, nutrition, how, how do you uh, manage this crop? Maybe uh, taking it from you, you vet um, um, from windmill. How do you think we should manage this crop maybe in brief uh, when you talk of um, nutrition? Thank you, Mr. Mugabe. Good day, farmers. As you can see here, Mr. Kunze, Mr. and Ms. Kunze, they use our basal fertilizers, compound C. They use high C as basal fertilizers. They then switch on to Winstart, which is a foliar fat, which they applied as foliar fertilizers. They then switch on to Windgrow. Windgrow, they started applying Windgrow at week four, and they then switched on to Windbloom, which they are still applying to date. They are also applying... We can see this... These are very good cucumbers. They are applying potassium nitrate and they are alternating potassium nitrate with um, calcium nitrate at every seven days in the fall. Thank you, Mr. Mugabe. All right, no, thanks so much. Yeah, it's quite an um, interesting discussion here yeah, where we talk of um, um, the, the variety itself, the nutrition and everything else. But I would also want to ask Mr. Dukunze how he has been managing the crop in terms of um, thinning out or pruning any excess leaves, any excess um, uh, fruit on the, on the plants, and also uh, what he expects to get out of the plant itself. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Bios. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got a very nice, uh, very nice cucumber, which 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 came out of uh, a, a good fertilizer management program. We uh, want to take cognizance. Of, uh, I'm sure you should take cognizance of the fact that uh, you cannot achieve a good yield without uh, a constant uh, application or attention to the details uh, concerned with this production. So, what I'm simply saying in short is that. Uh, we also we work in unison. Uh, it's not Kunze Veggies alone, which is producing this cucumber, but it's Total Farm Solutions, there's Windmill, and we seed providers themselves. They've assured, they've actually assured us that we get the right seed. Total Farm Solutions is bringing in the solutions to the, uh, the greenhouse control systems, and everyone is on board. So we are saying. Uh, we can only achieve this when we all work in unison. It's not like me alone uh, in this in this in this drive, but we are a family uh, with one focus, which is to produce a, 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 a good crop. Uh, in terms of our yields, right now we are in our we have actually done 11, 11 fruits so far, and we are in our second month of production. We are actually encroaching into the third third month. So I can safely say that in terms of yield expectation, we should expect 25 fruits from this, 25 fruits and above from this uh, production. Because it says, it actually it's, it speaks for itself. Look at the flowers, when you look at these flowers, they, they, they will tell you that this is a healthy, this, way, this, these flowers are actually going to make a good cucumber. So you can actually estimate from, from bottom up that from this, if I say we are on our, on our 11th, uh, fruit 
wow. it means this is number 12, this is number 18, 14, 15, wow. 16, mm. 17, mm. 18, 19. Mm. And we are assured that this way to we are going to, to come up with that with a, with a, with, a, with the right uh, yield. So it's about consistency and uh, paying attention to the details and network and interact as much as possible. Both these things, these plants, they need to be communicated with. Because we are in here maybe five times, six times a day. It's not like you come in in the morning and uh, you are out and you come back the next day. No, you are here. You are constantly in touch. With your, with this, with your, with your crop. So I would say, uh, in short, rather short, the long and short of it is, it's a family of 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 of, of, of uh, people who are interested in ensuring that we get a, we get the, the, the right result. Thank you. Wow, no, thank you so much for that. Um, I like I like the fact that you say that we, we are working together to come up with the best um, yields and best quality possible in our industry because that's, that way, that's the only way we can grow as farmers. And as we are a family, we should do the best to make sure that we have... Um, um, a good fruit uh, which is very healthy for the for the market. Uh, thank you for that Mr. Kunze, our total farmer. Um, then coming to you Tinashe, um, you know there was a question that was asked about cucumbers that are killing and uh, issues to do with nutrition. Maybe in summary how, how, how would you comment on you know soil nutrition as well as um, killing of cucumbers maybe just in, in, a, in a short um, thank you Thank you so much Mr. Mugabe, thank you viewers. Um, in short uh, like what Mr. Kunze was saying, it, we need um, to, to be precise in whatever we are doing. We need to pay attention to detail. The first thing is so soil, soil test and analysis. We need to understand the environment in which our crop is going to be growing. So we need to understand that firmly. Because once we don't understand that, definitely our crop tends to fail. So first things first, our soil analysis, we do the soil test, soil analysis, we get the recommendation. We go to the fertilizer guys, they help us. We get to the right seed. They, they advise us on the seed so that we are going to achieve a perfect crop with, um, with the qualities that we desire. They will explain the qualities to us. As long as it's going to take the good nutrition from the from these guys, we have a good um, fungicide or program or chemical program that we are going to be applying. Definitely, how best how can we go wrong with that? Definitely, we are going to achieve the very best um, of the crop in the game, as you can see. Thank you so much. Um, we also have Tiger Agro here, um, represented by Wanda. Right, Wanda. Um, in terms of um, you know the, the the chemicals or the chemical regime, um, how would you comment on this crop? Um, maybe in, in short. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Total Farm Solutions. Um, I think for this crop, if you can uh, look at it, you can see that there is no um, high infestation of diseases. The crop is smart, and even if you check for um, uh, insect pests you can see that there is low infestation or if it's not no um, so what I can say is the spraying program is so good it's perfect uh, as I understand these guys they have been using Odin uh, from our portfolio and they also have uh, metaxin from our portfolio and as well as Ryok I think they have the whole range of uh, the fun size which we provide in uh, Zimbabwe so um, this is some of the these are some of the product which are contributing to the gene the good yield of, of this crop uh, so we are very impressed uh, seeing that uh, this crop is performing good in terms of uh, uh, diseases and uh, pests it's it's smart so um, I think this is one of the best crops which is um, uh, being uh, supported by our products thank you Wow that's a um, quite interesting day then now we have um, a lot of interest now from our farmers they want to um, get into greenhouse farming and then um, they don't know what to see what the Kunzes are doing. So Patience here is um, happy to just explain um, what farmers should do to get a greenhouse. Look at greenhouse farming for, is a total farming solutions. We are partners. We are not a service provider only. We are partners. So we are into construction. That's where the relationship starts from. So if you are interested, we are free. We don't charge for site visits to come and see where you want to farm. We started with the Kunzes with one. It was an interest after one of such field visits. And we did a site visit and we recommended the size that was according to their budget. And we worked according to that budget. And as a result, we are now in our fifth greenhouse. 
with the Kunzees and we are moving into the sixth one. So when you are looking at greenhouse, it's an investment that you are guaranteed returns. The returns requires you to be part of the business. Like Mr. Kunze said, he walks in here maybe six times a day. So it's true when they say when you talk to your plants, they respond to your spirit. So in here you can see it, it's evident in this greenhouse that is working and he's also singing to his plants. So I'm inviting to you all farmers so that you also have an opportunity to sing to your crops. Let Total Farm Solutions do the construction work for you. I think Mr. Kunze, I would want to ask him, what is your comment or what can you say about our structures? Because they have supported your business when we gave you the structure to us, we thought that is the end of us. But you have continued to work with us and you have encouraged us. What can you say about our structures? Oh, thank you. Uh, what I can say with regards to the structures is uh, these, these are very durable uh, structures. Uh, also, uh, when you look at the plastic that you are using, uh, the 200 mm uh, shows you a, 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 a long time in, in, in the business. Mind you, so when you pay, money effect pay. So you would want to invest into something that uh, you put up a you put up a plastic now and uh, in, in probably a year or so the plastic is uh, is, 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 is deteriorated or is, is, is disintegrated. You'd want actually to to, 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 to to invest into something that can assure you a, a longer productivity uh, uh, time time frame. So to me, I would say uh, the, the, the the structures which are being offered by Total Farm Solutions are can assure that for any investor wants to, to, to go into greenhouse farming. Is that can, uh, you can, uh, you can, you can, you can att all attest to, to, to the fact that we are into our, this is the fifth, going into the sixth greenhouse, and our first greenhouse is there. It's actually in its third year now, since they constructed it. So, and we have never repaired it. We have never replaced the plastic. So it means uh, this greenhouse is, is proven, actually it has actually stood the test of time. To, if we say, if we are going to say this plastic goes for four years, then we can say ours is in our third year, so we are expecting it to go to go to go to four years. Thank you. All right, then we've got uh, four seasons necessary. Maybe they could give us a comment on what they think about uh, this crop. Yeah, over to you, Kuda from Four Seasons Nursery. Uh, thank you, farmers. Um, as you can see from this crop, there is very good crop establishment. You are looking at almost about a ninety percent fill in the greenhouse. The biggest challenge is that most greenhouses have pertaining to cucumbers is poor germination because of um, mice which attack the seed as it starts germinating. So we have a solution to that problem by providing necessary services where farmers either give us their seed to raise it for them or we raise um, their seed according to their specifications and the varieties that they want. In this particular case, if you want to do your boru, you can come to us, we'll do your boru, raise it for you and make sure that you get a germination percentage that is at least or if not less than 90% uh, germination that way you just avoid the phase where your, your seed is at its biggest risk of getting um, taken by mice so you can come to us we'll raise your seedlings for you and make sure you have a crop stand like this just like the Gunzers have done thank you so much Kuda for that um, I'm sure uh, a lot of our farmers are going to be coming to you for necessary services uh, since you're going to be since you provide you know services for not only cucumbers but any other crop no we really appreciate um, your service to the industry to the agricultural industry thank you farmers uh, this is the time to make a decision um, take action uh, the time is now we're encouraging everyone to be a total farmer and you've got to be smart in how you farm uh, see you next time for the next uh, briefing.